trying again. Sorry for all the notifications. Seriously, sorry. <laughs> I'm just checking out my connection. So all of this, so just sum up. Been having connection issues. I had the wrong encoder by accident, for example. Uh, it's been raining, stuff like that. And I'm finding out now that my upload speed keeps changing. Like sometimes it's 50 megabits per second. And right now it's six megabits per second. So that's I think that's the biggest reason why my video is dropping frames. Like I brought my my uh, bitrate down to like three thousand uh, kilobits per second, so that should help. But it's probably not going to look great, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to improve my connection someday. You know, hopefully in the next couple months. But for now, I've added probably another 12 hours to the game, and I'm, I'm exhausted. And super quick recap, um, all my camps are upgraded, uh, a couple of steps, like see they're up to 8 now. I've lost a few people, uh, I came down here and I wiped out this farm because I want to take it over. Um, what else? This just won't go away, no matter what I do. Like I've done that, this objective, uh, the objective to like take them out, but it doesn't slow them down. They're always there, so I'm not sure how to take care of them other than having a war party and attacking them. Same with this. I think what I need to do is destroy Root Down, which is where they're from originally. That's probably from somewhere deep in this red spot. Right. Like they are coming. The enemy, quote unquote, is coming, and this is uh not good. Anyway, so I'm I'm shoring up, I'm trying to get groceries to my camps, because that's gonna be big, I believe groceries having them in the camps makes everyone grow faster, like gives them more experience. I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out though. So once once they clear this out. I'm going to have them, um, only four available, that's weird. Oh no, because I, I re reassigned some. Uh, send three, take horses, yes. No, don't burn it. Here you have weapons. Why? Why is that doing that? You see this? I am hitting a quick group and they just keep Piling on weapons. Anyways, let's try that again. Not that one. Yes. Yes, take horses. And burn camp. Nope. Oh, jeez. Remove that. Don't you all have enough arrows? I have so much shit. Holy crap. Let's add ours to this. Let's make uh, 30. Sure. Uh, in the meantime, I need to sleep. So let's go up here. I'm kind of exhausted. So I don't seem to be dropping frames, which is good. That's finally, finally good. It's been frustrating because uh, I've been trying to give a critical view of this game and it's just the, the frame drops kept interrupting it. And I suppose I may as well try and talk about it again. The things I like about this game and the things I don't like. Um, first things first, I want to talk about how cathartic this experience is. You know, as a person of color, I like this idea of anti-colonialism. It's pushing back against this clearly red wave, right? That's just sweeping across. It's just growing and growing from every direction, likely. And I like the idea of fighting against that. And of course, from a socio-political 
perspective that means themes of racism and colonialism and things like that. Sorry, I had a drink. What's he saying? Oh, so yeah, themes of racism. So this <laughs> themes of resisting racism and, and colonialism. Those aspects of this game appeal very, very greatly to me. The idea that I can be like this hunting wolf in the dead of night, just taking these colonizers' lives is uh, that feels really nice. And um, that might sound weird to say, but that's <laughs> sorry. That's who, that's what it is. That's how it feels. I got food on me, so let me snack on this stuff real quick. Let me dehydrate in a second. Oh. Wow. That was really good. Let's put this away. Now, as far as what's bad... Well, of course, there's a lot of things bad, and I don't really care so much about things like bugs because that's, you know, the game life cycle nowadays. Things like bugs are meaningless. Complaining about them is meaningless. Like, we have games that are so complex, giving you an entire world. Yeah, there's going to be problems. So, people who whine about the technical stuff, I get it. But there are so many more important things to pay attention to. And for example, what I'm going to talk about is representation. Obviously, obviously, I'm a Native American, right? But like I've been saying in previous streams, these are tropes. Tropes that are built from, you know, the American Western, the Western cinema, Western movies, Western... There's another root down group. So where are they starting from? Must be way down here. So, so from Western fiction that is based on Western tropes. Um, and that starts obviously all the way back from actual colonialism. Like the stories were told about the quote unquote painted savage came out of the colonizers not the colonized. So understanding that perspective and why this representation, the representation of native and indigenous American people in this game, that's why that's important. Because accuracy matters, especially in a game that is this cathartic. For people of color, having a game like this, this is huge. And the real pity is that developers have chosen to ignore the Native American communities. Like they've said, hey, there's problems here. We could maybe have some representation to better signify what kind of people we are. But they're not really listened to and they've been practically ignored. And that's not that's not good. You know, they could do better than that. Let's see if they can... Oh, they're just under range. About... Not these guys. Ooh. I think they're also just out of range. Yeah. Dang. Okay, where's I gonna, where am I going to go? South? Oh yes, there's another fork right here. Let's go take a look at that. You know, why aren't they clearing this out? Is it because I'm here? Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Maybe, they, maybe it's like uh, X4 where the AI does better if you're not actually physically there. When you're not loaded in the air, that way it's just number crunching rather than having to rely on the renderer. 
Yeah, let's get out of the area. Maybe then they'll actually complete the pulling away all the stuff. I wonder if it, even if they don't, like if I switched it over, I wonder if they will keep the, I mean, if I took over the land, I'm wondering if they'll still keep the stuff, the goods. I'll have to try that. Oh, make kill intimidate Fort Clay with the leader. Where is that guy? Oh, I totally passed my... Am I... Am I not seeing... There's a thing on the map, on the uh, compass up there, 2,000 meters behind me. This way? I can't even see it on the map. <laughs> sure. It beats this. No, it's not. Anyways, go back up here. Because I totally lost track of this. Let's go over here and scout these guys out. So the reason why I think that representation is important, not just from a, um, not just from a, an escapist point of view, but because it would do so much more f both for the game and for the Native American community, like if there's that kind of synergy. Like I understand why the developers pushed back, and not even for. I don't know how to, how to put this without being too uh, indelicate. I'm not trying to accuse anyone of racism by any means. But let's just call it a critical theory about how certain populaces are perceived in media, in law, in life in general. And that's, that's what's popular. That's what many of us were raised with. And we just think that's the way it is. We're not, we're not necessarily fully open to the idea of others in that sense. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I don't want to make it, I don't want to sound offensive when I try and explain this. Like, I'm not trying to say anyone is or isn't racist or whatever. I'm just saying that there are systems in place that we don't even realize are there. And it shapes the way we think. And it shapes our beliefs about the world and about the people, whether or not we realize it. I suppose that's the whole woke argument, like being woke is the realization of that. But, I mean, all of us learn constantly, right? Why is one thing more or less valid than anything else, than all the others? So, that said, the developers, in my mind, are doing this, not necessarily out of some emotional desire to remove um, identity. I don't think it's that at all. I think it's simply because they don't want to lose control of their project. Like, they don't want to... Like, they have a very specific agenda with their themes and their story. You know, because they're Ukrainian... Oh, I just missed him. I just missed that guy. Because the, the developers are Ukrainian, they're obviously undergoing a, a major war with people who are their family, right? They're all basically from the same bloodline, and they're finding themselves killing each other over greed. And so this game to Ukrainian developers means it's kind of anger towards them. But it's still in kind of a spirit of some brotherhood. 
And let me explain that through the use of the karma system. The karma system in this game is if you are if you treat your enemies non-lethally, that is through intimidation, then you are blessed with good karma. And good karma in this game means that you get more recruits faster, you are seen in a better light with your neighbors, and things in that general vein. I see I'm getting a few frame drops. Um, they're here! They're here! Shit. There's an enemy! Ow. What the fuck did he hit me from that far away? Y'all can go away. I'll kill you all later. In the dead of night, probably. Will not kill won't kill you. Like I was saying, the karma system, you let them live, you intimidate them, you get great karma, and if you just kill them, say, in their sleep, then you are, you get bad karma. That makes things harder for you, and uh, people find you less, you will be less likely to be your friend. Really? How are you still seeing me? That's stupid. But in my opinion, that's not how this game's karma should be played at all. At all. Like... And they can take... And the developers can take the... Native Americans' feedback as to diversity. So their argument is, look, we're not getting enough representation in this game. Like, we're just generic Indians. They could be anyone, right? And even, even to the fact, some of the symbolism that's on this character could even be insulting. Like, we just do, we don't know because they haven't consulted with actual indigenous people. And the developers have pushed back against that, saying that... Why are they still here, man? I'm gonna take that guy out, because... It just needs to not be in my way. So I want you to imagine this game, like when you first make a character, you know, you, the theme is you are a prisoner, like aboard a slave transport, that's really the gist of it, and you're being shipped off to who knows where, presumably to work on the railroad. But you're rescued during the attempt and you're given a name, like your clan and all that. You develop it in the very beginning like that. And the way it's built is that certain names give you certain bonuses. Like if you name a character Tom, it will give you ostensibly less bonuses than a more thematically appropriate name. Like some other people use something along the lines of, you know, Chief so-and-so. Where the stuff is. Please don't. Mm. Mm. Oh, please, please. I'll, I'll tell you whatever you want. Oh, me, I'll be there. Oh, jeez. Shit. Oh. Thanks for shooting at me earlier. That really sucked, by the way. Have some burns and get the fuck out of my land. There's my horse. And so during character creation, you know, we're picking things like 
your name, which has benefits, and you're ostensibly a spirit animal, which also has benefits. So if you pick like a, a name that is admittedly very reductive, like Chief Sitting Bull, um, with say uh, one of the, I think I think a bison is one of them, or a buffalo is one of the spirit animals. I, I don't know. I, I only choose Raven for obvious reasons. Um, but you know your name, your your choices in that that sense, they will affect. You have, you have strengths and weaknesses of your character. Which, that's interesting. But, why? Like, I get it. Alright, let me put a, make it a different question. Why did the developers choose to ignore Native Americans when they said, hey, we would like some better representation? And, instead of utilizing, say, different tribes in character creation, they were refuted. That's frustrating, um, because that's something that can easily be done. But again, I kind of understand from a thematic story standpoint, the developers are looking at it as we're a band of one against an enemy that is also one. Like it's a very good versus evil thing. Whereas the real narrative is they were different tribes and they were broken up because they weren't unified as much. But that's not here or there or the point. The point is they still could have had their narrative control, but also given voice to the to the Native Americans, Native and Indigenous. Let me just tag that guy. I kind of want them because they're guns. The guns in that, those wagons are just amazing. When you see a guy without... When you see a guy that is led, or a wagon led by this guy... Um, with the star, it means he has usually a phenomenal amount of loot. Phenomenal. What's he doing? I feel kind of sketch being here. So now imagine you are back at character creation and you're, you have a... You have a selector not just for spirit animal, but also for tribe. Think of it that way. And maybe the tribe changes your appearance, maybe it changes your... You know, your war paints, maybe it changes your general aesthetic, but you're still part of the unifying narrative of we are sick of this, we've broken off from our regular tribes, and we're going to go fuck some shit up. Like, it can still have that narrative, and also still represent properly. And from a mechanic standpoint, you can have different bonuses, or maybe different tribes learn different things faster, or slower, you know, like to give them balance, and the spirit animal adds bonuses on top of that. Like it, that can easily be done. This guy is getting real close. I am not liking that at all. And that way, you can also have inter intertribal politics. So it's not just neighbor versus neighbor, like. If I have, um, sorry, he's coming towards me. He's not even on the road, is he? Yeah, he is. He is confused. So instead of just like native neighbor versus native neighbor, it's like a Lakota tribe or a former Lakota tribe clashing with a former Iroquois tribe, saying like, "Hey." And here's where the politics comes in. It's like, hey, try not to be more lethal. And the other tribe is like, no, like I scorched earth. Like they are taking everything. Fuck them. You know? Like you can have inter-tribal wars that is more realistic. 
that could really, really help this game too. Like you have to be, you can add a level of diplomacy to this game. Like look at the different skills, right? It's all about warriors and scouts and the chiefs have these very expensive few. Uh, diplomacy, why is clean reputation like just one? Where I can have, have better relations with tribes, have better relations with humans, have better relations with animals or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, there's so much they could do, but by refusing the feedback from Native Americans or Native uh, Indigenous Americans, they're closing themselves off to game loops that could be very, very powerful. Anyway, that's my, that's my, one of my few big criticisms about the developers. They're doing a good game. They're making a great game. Doing it wrong. I'm definitely enjoying it. But it could be a hundred times better, especially through inclusivity. Like that by itself adds to the game. Anyway, let's um, let's go down to the river. And have a drink. I think I've scouted this place plenty. I think I've got everyone tagged. Nope, 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 nope. Dang it. Cancel. I can't cancel. I drank disgusting dirty water. Ugh. That's human poop, people. That's what, that's what I drank. These white guys poop. Damn. Damn, that was stupid. I'm probably gonna get sick now. <laughs> but, you know, that's, uh... If I can say, that is, um, accurate, even to modern day, many, many indigenous are, uh, subjected to just that. Well, just, let's just think about pipelines for a second. Pipelines going through, quote unquote, protected lands, and you'll know exactly what I mean by Drinking someone else's shit. Like, forced to drink someone else's shit. I hope someone comes out here, because I wanna... I think I wanna be lethal for once, and just kill them. I kinda wanna... I'm feeling that. And everyone is too close to each other. There's actually no way to send them out. Not like this. I have to wait until nightfall. There's no other way. Oh god, the wagon's coming back. What's up with that thing? Is it just... Is it stuck? Oh, it's going real slow. Okay. Alright. Okay. Oh, let me check and see if there was a whole mass of frame drops. Let me... Mm -hmm. No, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Well, I'd rather have zero, but apparently my internet sucks too hard. It can't even do 3,000 little bits per second. Uh, blue. Oh, my horse is all the way over there. Really? I guess I got a little too close. 
Sorry, man. Investigates. Don't tell me you saw me through the fucking rock. That'd be bullshit. Hey, I know you're out there. Get up. Do you know? Wait, she starts going back before I... Please don't kill me. <coughs> I'll help you. Please don't kill yeah. me. I'll tell you where this stuff is. I I'll talk. Just, just don't hurt me. Hey. All right. So, oh, 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 karma, 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 karma. I think that karma should be completely different based on your, like, it should be, like, tribe choice should be, should affect your karma. So certain tribes, let's say, who are more aggressive um, or more scorched earth, maybe bad karma works better for them. Like, having that kind of depth and the politics of this would just the social politics of things would be so amazing with something like that like think about it like if like obviously i don't want to brand which you know which which tribe would be quote unquote more lethal than the other but let's say one is and having more bad karma simply attracts more of them to them right like they and don't even call it karma because that moralizes it like we don't want to moralize like so here here's the big problem oh geez seriously that's what i get for running i'm just, I'm just trying to get upstream so i can drink some, some water Hopefully someone checks and I can kill you. So yeah, I wouldn't even call it karma. But something else. Maybe I don't know. Something that again, like if they consulted with Native Americans, they would find a mechanic that would enable that. Oh, it's still dirty water. Okay, fine. Let's, uh, let's drink from my many stores of food and water. But still, like, so having a system like that, that it has massive interplays between different tribes, that would be great. Because then you could, you could have like-minded tribes surrounding you, like helping protect your own from you know the encroachment quote unquote I don't know it's uh, steep with possibilities and I hope that I hope that the developers eventually change their stance because this game could be truly amazing. Like right now, I love it. I love this game. But it could just, it could be a serious classic if they listen to the Native Americans. Seriously, I, I truly believe that. 
get out of the way. I And I'm still thirsty. I also want to talk about names, but I'll wait until the rain stops. Can I just do it? I think I have it. So, you know, I'm saying that um, choosing your name, like having a a more quote-unquote oh, beast of name. I have this hopping, I haven't checked to see if they have here they are. Okay, it's clear. That's good, I hope. Let's look at the image here. Yeah, I think. Oh my god, those guns. Oh those guns! Oh, food supplies. There's a lot of parts then, yeah, they probably have everything. Now I don't see the big med medkits. So I don't think they pulled everything. That's alright. Let's have them. I can't settle it. Maybe it's not dead. Uh, let me go check it out. I mean, I know I killed it. I got the notification. But maybe it came back. Right? to have yeah okay I just have to be there can't sell over camp you're too close to it 
I'm probably gonna lose everything here, huh? Daily. Let's check. Yeah, we'll check. Yeah, okay. I put a lot, a lot of crap in there, so. I guess they did clear it out. What? So then, is taking it over still going to give me a farm, or is it going to give me just a regular encampment? I'm not sure. Hopefully it gives me the ability to make groceries. Because... Am I going to have to, like, steal them this entire time? That sucks. Is that the right one? Yeah. Ghost wagon. Did it die? No. Over there, so I hope there it is. Just like spinning around. I feel like it's they're programmed to seek out the player. Not seek out, but like if they're nearby, they're kinda of go towards them. Oh no, he's going towards the farm. Of course. Let's, let's try this. Let's try... Man, they are going so much faster than me. I can't... I can keep up. No. Wait. Yes, I do. Sand 5. Oh. <laughs> I need so much more wood. Shit. I wasn't prepared. Oh, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. Someone else should upward. 36 wood, yes. Let me... I have to get to a camp. I do like this network, but like I oh I, I I said last time, but it didn't exactly stick. Um, it shouldn't be instant. I don't think this transport should be instant. Like calling items from camps and putting them in other camps. That's it's right now. It's technically magic, and it shouldn't. There should be physical people transporting the goods over. Um, so let me explain. Let me get down here and save real quick. So I'm going to grab, you know, 10 rope from them and 20, 20 wood. It comes into my inventory instantly. If I want to send it over here, it goes there instantly and it shouldn't it should take someone should you know it starts over like the trade starts from this camp right so someone here should bring it over to Wallamus and someone from Wallamus should go over to me to pick up stuff and bring it back that's how it should work But maybe they're working on it, who knows? Hopefully that is in the plan because that would make this like a serious simulation. Uh, right this one. 
Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, take the horses. Hey. Oh, what? Why do we only have eight rope? Didn't I pull ten? Do I have orders for something? Oh, it's this. The heal. All of these. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's make some rope. Let's actually make this 15. We do have 10. Fish. Actually, that's. I do want them to have those bows, and I also want them to have some guns. I, wow, look at that thing. Three hundred five, four times three hundred five. So what? Four. It's a four shot gun. Yeah, both of these are. Okay, so. It's that forty-four. Yeah, I have one of these too. Let's do a sharps. Okay, and you'll need forty four. Give you all um, eight. That should be plenty, right? Let's do four. Mm. No, I'd rather they have a lot of ammunition. That way they can continue to defend it. Uh, 20 shell. Oh my god, they don't have, we don't have a whole lot of these. Um, let's get you a 16. There you go. Y'all can have that. Uh, how many? Four? Oh, um, yeah, because they're two each. They're two V-Lives. Cool. Needs 54 cal. You have four. Yeah, because y'all are single shot. That should be plenty. Okay, 38. You can have 12. That's two Vilas. And you're also 38. So, 12 to you two. And they're too heavy. <laughs> By a tiny amount. Um, sorry, you're going to have to share bullets. Sorry. They also sell their bows, they're good. I kind of want to get rid of that guy. Let's take this. And what does that need? That needs... 58. Ah, uh, 6. Get some water. Water, water. Ooh. That's interesting. Something popped up right then and there. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. They went right up on there. Uh... That's a problem. I need to think about that. Of course, you know, that makes sense. Like, if I do something, then the game will react. Oh, no, I don't want to travel. I want to kill this dude. If 
if he if he comes back. Hopefully he comes back. Seven hundred health. Wow. to get stuck in something. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, shit. Hmm. Where did he stop? Maybe it's a bug? Honestly, not sure how much I need to, how much lead time I need to give it. I am completely unfamiliar with the uh, range mechanics. All right, did he run away? would like for them to actually take that up. Maybe I should just get on my horse and take it out. Yeah, let's give it a shot. I, I am realizing I'm not going fast enough and I'm not sure what to do about that and maybe this inevitability is part of the game. But they're right here. I'm not sure what to do about that. I can arm my people I suppose. Alright, need more wood, more pelt. Instead of, instead of tangling with this guy, I need to be doing like tribe stuff. I need to be. Didn't see where that pulls it went. Well, let's uh, let's go here. And actually, before I go there, let's increase cards in two to five. So, well, okay. Like you know, what? if you're if you're that thirsty, then I, who am I to tell you how to drink? Right? Sorry, sorry, man. About okay. Let's assuming that this turns. Hopefully, this turns into a freaking farm. Because if not, then I sh I would have preferred to place something here. Because that would give me another front rather than another flank. Because I have plenty of flanks. God, I feel like I'm going to squeeze. It's 
definitely want to take care of this fort. Uh, that's just so close. Okay, so let me upgrade this guy first. Um, okay, let's pull the ropes. Ropes. I need what? Ten? Do have any boar? No. No boar pelts. I don't think anyone's going to have boar pelts. As I used them all up. There's three. It's not that. One. Yeah, that should be everyone. Oh, yes. Cool, I have three, right? So seven. And what else do I need? Uh, ten wood. Who's got wood? He got wood. Yeah, that really, that really should not be instant. That's a little bit uh, overpowered. Okay, since it's kind of a flank camp, it, I don't need it to do much other than keep this area strong. I need to concentrate on these guys and put all my good guns in. Buff it up. So let's move two of these guys over there. Uh, yes, take horses. Go oh, no, I don't want those. Bring um. Do I even have sixty? No. But I actually have to take two of them. And sorry that you don't need ammo, but, you know, that's how it is. I'm sure you got 60 here somewhere. Seven. All right. Get there anyways. While I'm here, get some food. Um, well, that's kind of further than I thought it would be. It's a caps lock list. So let's go manually. We definitely need to expand one more time somewhere between here just so this line is stronger. Isn't there a base here? Hmm. Maybe it's further south. Yeah, well, I can't. I'll, I'll scout later. Really cool in the nighttime. This is the 
blowing of those uh, TPs. Some water. Actually, let's fill the uh, water bags. Oh crap, I got guns. Uh, yeah, two canteens. stuff away. Uh, wait, did I do the right one? I did the wrong one. I want that one and I want... for here. Uh, well, I can't even do this because I can't collect four tusks yet, so this is pretty much it. Alright, let's increase guards to five. That should be good. Oh, they made them hay bait. How many horses do you have? Three? Yeah, I want you guys to get more. And I'm wondering if I should build a war party now, just to start taking shit down, because that would be wise, wouldn't it? Because then I can take out things that are encroaching faster. Can I take this out? I think so. Yeah, because they might have imprisoned the warriors. All right. So how do I make a yep, create war party? Now, can I do that from... Can I build one from different, like, camps? Oh, man, why are you, why are you taking these? Uh... Cancel selection to wait around. Interesting. It's cool. So basically, I can ambush. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we can create awesome ambushes. That's cool. So, for example, if I want to grab that guy who's running around, then I sit in the bushes somewhere here, wait till it goes, give the uh, order. Very cool. Very, very cool. Now, can I pull people from every camp? No horses. And I can't create. There's not enough horses. So then, does he join? What does that mean? I mean I have two? Instead of... Oh, 
Okay, so I'm not sure how to... Hmm. So each war party is unique, I'm assuming. Oh my god, how do they expand that fast? Um, or maybe I can squeeze them into each other? I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, right? Like it's not going to be like 1-1-1-1-1 one, 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 all the way up. Um, I should probably... Oh, I can kind of can exchange. Actually, how do I dismiss them? I don't know, think about it. Is this time here? No. Okay, so maybe what I should do is send, from, send different people to a different camp, and then... And then form the war party. Okay, so how do I... How do I now... Disband them? Yeah, because I can have three. One, two, three. Let's click two. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure how I did that because I wasn't paying attention. I just click him onto him and then they joined up into one. Okay. No curatives. Why is that guy so much weaker? Okay, so. Let me get organized. Let me... Pull someone from here. I think I'll just do the same. I'm gonna take a horse with you. Like, why is he taking all the arrows? What the fuck? Let me just test that again to make sure I know what I'm talking about. That's that guy, right? Did I do that last time? I'm trying to get them to join. I'm not sure how. I think I need to go look up how to do this. Okay, that makes it so, so much easier. Okay, now I get it. Now I get it. 
That's good. So I can select which which war party group they're in through the number. All right. So for this is two, going right back to one. Boom. All right. Now I know more. <laughs> so you come on over. Uh, take a horse if you can. Oh, yeah, take all that stuff off. And same with everyone. If I don't select it, it shouldn't have... Well, we'll find out in a second, won't we? Uh... Horses. Maybe I should have two different groups, like a long range group and a short range group. That might actually be good. Let's do. Let's actually move one guy from here. Let's move him to one. So the the ones who have less hit points, I suppose, can go in the long range group, and the ones with more can be in the. Front row? Front front lines, sorry, not front row. Same thing, I suppose, in a certain odd way. Okay, so that means we kind of want good shooting weapons. Put this in the camp. Or good shooting. Yes, good shooting weapons. Uh, accurate firing guns uh, from a distance. And we have to have a good amount of ammunition for them. I could use this. I already have plenty. I already have one on me. Since we have three, all three of them could take these Palmer repeaters. It's just 58 cal, which we can easily buy. Alright, that was ammo. Cheap? If 14. That's not bad at all. Let's get, uh. Oh, that's kind of low. 45, 60, 60. Let's do 80. I mean, I should have plenty of tokens. Now let's do 60 for now. Don't need too much. Don't need too much. Let's take these. Now, what about the fox, fox kill warrior? Dude. Next for that guy. May you find peace in your next life. Okay, so short range guys, let's do pistol no shotguns. Ooh. I know one of these camps has got a lot of shotguns. Or maybe not. What's this? <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so I guess my shotguns are spread out all around, so... Yeah, never mind. Let's grab one of these shotguns. 16. And... Yeah, I mean... These are me as... Pretty good. The short range weapon? 148. Also 44. These are pretty good, actually. Let's grab these. What's this one? Wow. I kind of want that for myself, but I went the rifle route. I'm overloaded. Yes, I know. I might need 44 swords. Oh, plenty. Let's grab... Uh, 16. Oh, 
only through six shots. It's okay. Oh, I forgot to grab. Did I get this? Oh, no, it's in my stash. Ooh, nice. I can upgrade more of the camps. Um, let's grab that too. Yeah, I, I know. I'm overloaded. Maybe I upgrade this one. So let's put all this crap. In the camp. Because I definitely want a lot more warriors here if it's going to be right next to these. Yes, please. Let's get this guy up there. Alright, good. Grab some water. Fifteen now, which is good. What weapon didn't have ammo for? I think I have everything, right? Of course, yeah, I got everything. Aren't you guys getting horses? Maybe that was someone else that I asked to do that for. Three, four, zero. Baby horses. Um, but I bet they don't have hay bait. So let's take... Like transport horses? to bring people back to Wallamus just to bring back horses to a different different location. Hey guys, hey, how y'all doing? Y'all got your horses, huh? That's pretty cool. Alright, time to do this. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, these guys are really long range, so let's have you guys. I'll go over here. Are you gonna... You gonna move? You guys, you guys will move over here. I didn't quite think that through. That's it. You have one of these, have uh, what, 10? These hold six, so 12. Uh, Do they need things like bandages and shit? Probably, huh? That's right. Let's do this first. Oops. Who's the last one? That guy. Can you, uh, can you give that guy a little space? I wonder if I can get them to get off their horses. Probably not. 
Oh well, I'm just gonna have to live with it. I'll have to deal with that later. For now, I just want I just want to have the ability to do this. So, guys, move here again, please. I want them. I wanted these two and one of these. I don't want this one for myself. So I think I'll grab that. So yeah, so I'll do That's not a whole lot of... Maybe I need more of that. I think I'm gonna need more 44. Mm. These are six, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's put 12 in there. And let's buy... Buy more 50, or 44s. Wow, for three, that guy is cheapish. Holy hell. Get a lot. I'm going to grab that. I should get all 16. You don't have plenty, so let's do, um, let's do 18. Should it be three reloads? Oh, yeah, 38. Alright, and they do probably need bandages. So let's give them that too. I wonder. Mount. They'll mount those. Please. Yeah. That's amazing. Dude, get back on your horse. Horse good sir. You horse. Fine. And back to horse. Sure. Everyone on horse. You get a horse. That's fucking cool. Okay. You you all stand. Hopefully that will kick this guy back into uh, get on horse mode. Oh, now I broke him. <laughs> I broke all of them. Well, orders killed Maximilian Thibault. Dude, guys, you rock!
because they have this Imperial because of that. And the shotguns. <laughs> okay, look, guys. Guys on the horses, because we gotta we gotta ride. Alright, you know what? Let's go save real quick. That should hopefully reset them. Awesome. Oh no, why aren't you? Dude. I think I have a canteen, right? Or two canteens. Before I do anything, I need bandages. Okay, I have way too much shit. Um, let's take all the sumac. Don't think anyone else is going to have any. That's no good. So uh, let's make some orders. Some order sets. Oh, make me some bandages, please. Um, let's have everyone make three each. I think there might be another bandage I can use. I am wrong. Thought I did, but that's okay. We'll just do that. We'll s create um, bandages. Oops. Or did these? Oops. I have to open it everywhere. Okay. Oops. Oh, this. Maybe I should have done five. I have to recreate those, aren't I? Try and reset that guy again. Alright, got on your fucking horse finally. Good job, sir. Good job, sir. Okay, let's um he's in the camp. No. 
treatment. Twenty-five, huh? Oh, fourteen. That's also pretty cheap, so let's get ten of these. No, wait, I have a bunch of guys, so let's do twelve and then two for me. Do need food or anything like that? I... Hmm, I don't know. We have two each. the rest in the horse and actually I still want a gun don't I I want this guy we have a bunch of 58 caliber stuff I could just pull Another. There's gotta be another one somewhere, right? Maybe not. <laughs> That's alright. Um, what else do I have? A lot of 44. So let's get a 44. That's. Maybe a bit much. <laughs> Let's try something else. No, that's probably the best, huh? Alright, let's take it. Let's take it for a spin. their ball. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Let's send this back over here. <laughs> yeah, I should pay attention. It's it's a load rather than a actual shell. Maybe I should use this then and buy the 44 cal or grab some at least. I got plenty. Uh, let's get 10. Is this is going to be kind of a pain uh, to reload. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, yes. Yash, yash, yash. Let's, uh. Do I get the accuracy of this? Or should I do chiefly stuff? No, may as well do this. Alright, hungry, a little thirsty. Let's go on a roam.
Flip, flip, flip. Can not be right, right on top of me? Ah, I got there. Let's pull forward. Control them like in a light manner. Um, so they're close range. Long range. Hopefully they don't bug out. I like that. I like that quite a lot. Uh, what am I looking at? Oh, it's probably empty. There's stuff to loot. be a bug at some point and that's going to be that's gonna suck a moment just some some bugs come show up. Right, on to our mission. I probably won't do any text because you seem to be pretty tired already. Spent the day kind of organizing everything. I guess I'm still kind of far away. Might be too much for uh, six people, but that's. Um, I don't want to do this loud necessarily. I want them. Um, I want to do a night raid. And I want to do it silently. I want to see if I can make that happen. Because if I can avoid. If I can avoid a lot of gun gunfire, then that would be so much better. Like, I want to play this, like, uh... 
like actual super stealth, you know. Like it should be, you know, the legend of so and so who destroy their enemies by night. That's what this Nicky game needs, like a reputation thing. So like as you do things, look, say as you wipe out more and more of their camps and forts and stuff, that you kind of gain, gain a name for yourself. And maybe they start hunting you down. And maybe that's already in the works, who knows. It'd definitely be a... Uh, Awesome as hell. I feel like there's a lot more people in here than I'm currently seeing. If I could pick that guy off. No, too late. He's already walking in. We could get that guy over there. Is that another camp? Yeah, well... Well, this definitely has got to go. care what you got. I want you to go away. Oh shit. Before he turns the corner, I know where it is. I'll tell you where it is. I'll tell you where it is. Please, just play. Just take the knife away, please. Anything else? Sounds like someone's right there. Oh, he's on the inside. Oh, 
I'm like, let me bring my army, and I'm not even using them. This way, yeah. So let's not do that. Can I bring food with me? Mm, no water, though. Maybe I should go back to the horse. This stuff somewhere. Because I think it might be close enough to be picked up, so let's do that. Man, that's scary. Here, I just I just want to put give you guys your stuff. Honey, and all that. See, I'm not a bad person. Closer, please. Just a little bit. Hopefully you don't detect me. That'd be awful. Sell it more, you know? You're not a bad friend, I suppose. You only sold out one of them. So be clear. Okay, so but there's three or four left. Oops. So should they attack? Should I try them? <laughs> like um sounds like that wouldn't be a bad idea. I thought there'd be like twelve people in here. Actually, where are they? They're probably over here. Huh?
Where are we? Why did I do that? Just do follow. I wonder if I'm too far away. Oh, no, they're there. Here they come. Person there, jeez. Okay, let's play our ambush. Uh, long range, I want you all here, I guess. I should just make the motion to attack. I'm gonna get all my people killed. That was awesome. Everyone get ready. Here they are. Thanks, good night. Oh, oh, oh. oh, this is great. I saw them. They're out there. Who else is shooting? Okay. Uh, you guys move here. Watch me be fit right here. Guys, they're here. <laughs> Stop. I don't want to die. Oh, please, please. I'll, I'll tell you whatever you want. I'll help you. I'll tell you where this stuff is. Oh. I don't know. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. And the fort's done. That was surprisingly awesome. And doing this sort of like sweeping tactics at night is 
I should have waited for night actually to do this. But that's cool. Uh, follow. Follow. And I wonder how much y'all used up a lot of ammo, huh? But I guess that's going to be a problem too. Oh, our horses are all the way back up there. Alright, well, time to loot this. Oh, there's a bear in front of Hmm. Hmm. Also, loot from it is good enough. Like, oh. Alright, good job, guys. Let's uh, put this junk in here. What's this? Super close range. Three shot. Hopefully they pick all that stuff up. Uh, yeah. Taking that. Where are the other bodies? Yeah. Alright. Back to our horses. Oh, I'm tired as hell. Uh, go back here. I'm thirsty as hell, too. Ignore. There you go. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should get them to loot. Loot ammo heals. Um. Not sure if that did anything, but hey, follow and follow. Horses. So hopefully this game isn't as uh, glitchy as before, because I know there are a lot of frame skips the past couple of days. It's been kind of a challenge. Hopefully this time not so much. Um, yeah. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna highlight the parts where I was talking about representation in this game and what the developers could do to make it better. And and I'll also upload, you know, this this VOD as well. Everyone mount up. so glad that they haven't glitched out. Let's head to the nearest camp and then sleep for a bit. It looks really serene. Beautiful. Beautiful serene.
doing over there. That is like that's what I'm Okay, and I want this. I like this, but I think I'm gonna go with a different thing. I mean, that's a lot of damage. I kinda of didn't like that, but well, I mean, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. That's fine. Um That was pretty good. Burn the shit out of Oh, I need to go back. So I can do it, um... Uh, destruction. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go for now. I uh, hope you all enjoyed watching. Uh, give me a follow. And yeah.